Hi all, in this video I'm going to show you how to use um, a macro button to launch to another application outside of ClipView. So the first step in this video is to create the button. The first one we're going to create is for Excel. We're going to add an action, it's an external one and it's launch. Click OK. The application, for, uh, the executable for Excel happens to be Excel. So we click OK now and we click on the button we've just created opens up a new Excel worksheet. So what we'll do is we've copied what we've just done and we paste it a few times because we're going to add um, you can just keep click and paste and it'll, it'll paste over the original one we've created. I'm just going to drag them now across. At the moment these uh, each one of these are doing the same thing so they're all linked to Excel so we're going to change the properties of each one so on this one we're going to link it the executable for Microsoft Access is MS Access and in the text we're going to say Access same again we're going to do PowerPoint and the action it's already set for launch so we're going to click uh, Power PNT which is the executable for Microsoft PowerPoint Again, we'll do this one on Word, and the power, the executable for our Word is WinWord. Click OK. Now we've two more. So in this one, what what I'll do is I'll create one to link to the source data, and one to link to, for example, a website. In this case, it'd be my YouTube um, channel. Um, so I'm just going to go into the edit script grab the file path for where our data is coming from let's close that go into the properties and in application paste the fast path to the source data and then in text just change that to source data now in the final one we're going to take uh, my the link to my youtube channel so a website i mean you can you don't have to do that, we could do, uh, we could type in Google, and the action is launch, www.google.com, click OK. So what we're going to do is we're just going to tidy up each one of these buttons, so we're going to align them bottom, space horizontally, and keep them to the left, so you can see it's, look, it's looking, much, uh, sorry, it's looking a lot better at the moment. So we click on Excel, it opens up Excel and Access. It opens up Access PowerPoint. So you can see it's working as source data. So click Yes. So now it brings into the, the data that we're working from in ClickView. And the final one is to a website, which in this case is Google. So if you click on Google and click Yes, that'll bring you into Google. So um that's pretty much it. Um, I'm sure there's plenty more you can do with macro buttons, but that's all I know for now. So I hope that helps somebody out there, and I'll see you next week for the next video. Cheers. Thanks.